figure I'd come out here. Just get out for a little bit. Come to the spot. The rock. Come to the rock. And here we are. Can we have us a little coffee? Just to get out here for a little bit. But uh, I'll get right back with you. Come down here to relax a little. Um, we've been getting, you hear my voice? We have been at my house, we have been struck with the flu. It has been going around. And um, I didn't get it as bad as my wife. She's got it, she's worse off than I am. But um, feels like I'm starting to get over it and everything, but I figured, well, well, better nature cure natural cure than get out in nature so haven't been out here in a while haven't had a chance just come out here for a little bit do a little chatting let me get a fire going real quick because i'm gonna make some coffee if there's something that i noticed and i'll uh go over that with you here in a minute i'll get right back with you Singe. All right. It's a little windy today. Well, yeah, like I seen earlier, I can come down here, shoot my rifle, and then check it out and everything. I've been having no problems with the trigger. I think it's going to work itself out because it's a new trigger. So uh, I think it just needed to be broke in a little. Anyway, um, only time will tell. If not, we'll fix it. But, um, yeah, I come out here because, you know, like I said, and we've been having the, you know, we got the flu at the house and everything, but I just wanted to get out and, and, uh, just get out here. I haven't been out here in a while and it's, it's March 3rd and it is 70 something degrees and it's windy as hell and I'm sweating, you know, so, but. Figured I might take you on a little walk along, kind of around where I'm at, just a little bit. Um, one thing I was going to say earlier, though, what I noticed is that I went down here to shoot my gun, and when I shoot a little ways over, because it's got a kind of a bowl dip behind the pond area, and that way it's kind of got a natural berm, so, you know, rifle rounds and bullets and stuff can go into that and not fly, you know off because there's you know way over here there's a dirt road way over there there's road you know and there's other people's property over here and houses and all that stuff so I don't you know it's just a safer place to shoot and it's natural berm back in there and uh, so I noticed that there was some kind of in another spot that's down there there was a target set up and stuff and it's like I did not set that up so somebody's been down here shooting and things like that and this is a 80 acre property so it's private property um it's family so um i grew up on this property basically and uh you know i'm, I'm free to do whatever the hell i want down here so uh 
but I noticed that where my spot is here, it's been compromised. And I don't mean by animals, because I don't know if you, if any of you watched one of my other videos, is moonshine, heavy metal, and t what guns, whatever. But uh, I had some moonshine down here. You know, just a bottle I bought at Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. And it was just a glass bottle. Well, I had put it, an empty bottle, right here in this tree where it sits. And it was sitting on this, and it was down in there. Now I was just going to leave it there, and it's been there for, I don't know, months and months and months. I come down here, and I notice it's gone. Now there ain't no bottle laying around, there's no glass. Um, so no animal has got in there and got it and I don't know why they would anyway and I noticed this table that's in pieces here which was going to fall apart anyway because it's not made for being out in the rain there's a piece of it way over here and I don't see anything about that bottle anywhere so if somebody's been down here and they broke it I don't see where it would be broken at. They just kept the bottle. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. So yes, my site has been compromised. See this private property. So it shouldn't be, you know what I mean? So there's no reason it should be. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. But I figure we'll do a little walk around. Show you the property a little bit. And um, it's just basically really a creek bed. All right. Grab this thing. Take you on a little tour here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around here. So you can see where I'm at here. The rock. Go through some of this tree area. Yeah. It's just a little creek. As you can see, it's a lot of trees, a lot of rock, a lot of sand rock. And most of these are cedar trees. Do have some blackjack oak down here. And a few other things. do have a little bit of a creek gets filled up when it rains and then not very much and then see that thing right there it's like an old piece of a water trough I don't know what that was from but it looks quite old so there's been something here at one time a long time ago so I noticed a couple of those down here before. I figure I'd take you on a little trip here. It's 
pretty rocky down in here. You know, but there is some good little spots to sit. And things like that. So you got up there. Ridge up there. We'll go up there here in a little bit. Pretty windy. Here you are, ZZ. It's a little uh, Robert E. Lee uh, Memorial Bridge. <laughs> and he said that on one of his videos. I just died laughing. I thought that was funny as hell. But there's a waterfall over this way, which. Uh, it's not a very good waterfall anymore. See if we can get over there. Got to cross this fence. Yeah. As you can see, it's a, not a very good waterfall. The creek is not a major creek. Or anything. There it is. Well, used to play down here when we were kids. And this little pool down here and catch crawdads and stuff. You see this giant rock. It was not here. It's part of the waterfall. And like, I don't know, 25 years ago, that thing sheared off. Laid right there. So, you don't know. And when I was younger, this creek was a pretty good flowing creek. Had way more waterfall than that. It was pretty fun. Let's take you around another place. I'll get back with you in a second. Well, looky there. But I just now noticed it's broken. Old medicine bottle. Too bad it's broken. Got some nice patina on it. Chamberlain's Couch Remedy. <laughs> it's just laying there. I've never noticed that before. Wow. Well, it's pretty neat. Des Moines, Iowa, United States of America. Who knows how old that is? Chamberlain's Couch Remedy. Very cool. All right, let's get it to another part. All right. Come up on this berm here. Oh, not berm, but the edge of the creek line. It's on the north side. Across this fence is another person's property. line some cactus gotta get through this mess here looks like some deer packs up here Here's a good little area. I 
I probably won't walk around too much more. So got a sore throat. Kind of an odd looking rock. How it's broken off like that, forms like that. It's weird. Very strange, very strange. Hmm. Yeah. Just a little spot. Yeah, I'm not going to try to cross that. It's way muddy. I don't think I can jump it right at the moment. It looks like part of a tree has come down down there. Right there, yeah, it looks like it. Sure does. Anyway. The creek really starts filling up more back over here. And it goes down to a pond down there at the end. And that's where we do a little fishing and stuff. Catch some catfish and there's even bass in there. So Yeah. A lot of cedar trees. That one right there looks like a black jack oak or something though. No. I'll get back with you. Oh, yeah. Come across, look what I find. That's my moonshine bottle. Smashed. And we're probably about, oh, 30 feet from that tree where it was. Ain't no animal did that. So yeah. If I find out who the hell's been down here, I'm gonna let them know. Because that is not cool. Because this is not public property. And there's nobody else that needs to be coming down here. So, there's the mystery of it. We'll find out. Here we are on the south side of the property. Take you down to one more spot. Quick. Yeah. It's getting windy as hell. But yeah, see, I can just drive right about here. You know, a lot of times I'll just walk it. It's not that far to walk it. But, uh, yeah. Cedars go lower. Good thing about cedar trees, though, is that Oklahoma's full of them. They're almost, you know, they're almost a nuisance to a lot of people. And uh, we don't have too many pine trees here, unless they're unless they've been planted, especially in this area, you know. And they do real good, you know, when they plant them. But 
They just don't grow naturally like they do up north and east and west and all that stuff. But, uh, but like pine trees, cedar trees have a sap too. They have that kind of a piney smell to it. They have fat wood in it. Um, and you can make pitch and start a fire and everything else with their sap and stuff like that. So, anyway, here is an old well house. You can see it in those trees there, right there. Old well house. When I first, when we grew up here, when I was young, I'll be 49 in uh, May, so I'm getting there. So when we were kids though, we had well water for a number of years. There's one of the old tanks. And uh, that was the well house. It's got it from a natural, natural spring down there at this creek. So, yeah. And I've shot that thing over the years. Several times, AR and AKs shot at it. The old tank, like 20 years ago. Anyway, I'm gonna head back up to the truck this way. Yeah, I was gonna do a video, thought about doing one on uh using cedar resin and cedar pitch and making glue and showing that it can be done with that because you know a lot of videos online I see on YouTube it's all uh, pine pitch and pine resin and stuff the cedar is almost exactly the same stuff it's just uh, cedar instead of a uh, pine but, but yes it's windy I'm sure you can hear that I thought about doing it, just haven't done it yet. But, I mean, this uses the same stuff, and I've used it several times. Anyway, I'll get back with you in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to try to do this. I've never, I just got this camera stand laying on the dash here. And just going to drive around a little bit here. Yes. Up to you will show a little bit more of this property. I said it's a total of 80 acres. I think it's really like 78 or something like that. But we just call it 80. But yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but. Like right here, I can do with my finger here in this area. I'm not focusing now, but uh, yeah, right in here in these areas, and even over a little ways over here, we had some natural I mean, not natural, but wild blackberry plants, and they've been growing there for a long time. And last year, or actually two years ago we had a lot of rain and they were always you know these things have been growing here for a long time wild blackberries but they never really put anything out on them I come down here and they were just filled with them and um, they were tasty way tasty well last year one of the neighbors they put their they put their cattle out here so they can graze and go back and forth because their property there's a fence on the north side where I was showing you earlier they let their cows come through and uh, you know they all that stuff and they have a deal with my mother and um, so he comes out here like in the winter time and stuff and mows it down brush hogs it and he brush hogged all those blackberry plants down now they look like they're still growing you know they're going to come back but that pissed me the freak off, man. I was like, son of a bitch. Because I was going to come down here and pick a bunch of them. But hell no. They were gone. And 
they're still gone, but they look like they're trying to grow back, but we'll see. And they should. And here's an area where the pond is down in there. I'm not going to walk down in there, but this property is a lot bigger than... A lot bigger than... There's more to it than what I've shown you and stuff. But yeah, it's bigger. Just give you a little tour and try not to make this video too long. We've got a new new phone here and I upgraded from an iPhone 5C to an iPhone 6S Plus. It's got a little bit better camera. So, stuff caught the fence over there. Yep. Anyway. Just wanted to get out in the woods for a little bit and have a cup of coffee and relax. And feels good. Show you a little bit. Thank you for a walk around. I got some other videos coming up. I tried to shoot a video the other day. I got a, uh, a military tent, a TCOP tent. And I tried to shoot the video the other day and I was just not feeling good. And I, so I just like didn't do it. And um, now it's going to be windy for several days and I don't want to put it up in the that struggle trying to put it up, you know, in the wind. So, and I got that video coming up sometime here pretty soon. As soon as I get to feeling better. But uh, I feel okay except for my throat. You can hear it in my voice. But uh, physically, my body feels okay. I'm just a little tired. But I'm heading on. I'm heading on. I'll uh, check you all out next time. And as always, keep it heavy.